this is Pat Love back with Pat's Two Cents. I'm just going to read that one verse to emphasize what I'm going to say now. Mm -hmm. Okay, I read from 1 Peter chapter 5. This time I'm only reading verse 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Yeah, you know, I'm going to share something with you. Now, I remember when I was young and I tried to get catch action and I'd go to the nightclubs and brother be eyeballing me, I eyeball him and I'm, mm, 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 yeah, you give all these little glances, he'll come over and ask you to dance and, you know, you're doing a little flirtation tango is what I call it. And you know where it's headed, but you're going to go through all the moves anyway. Because that's part of the tintillation. Well, let me share something with you. When you are, <clears throat> how should I say this? Some of you don't just date one person. Yeah, thank you, Lord. I'm trying to come up with the right scenario so you get the what I'm really saying. A lot of us like to flirt around. We It's fun. It's an ego trip, isn't it? Right? You know, brother looks like they think we look good or the the woman the lady looks like you know she thinks you're handsome and I mean it's like it's all fun right whether you do anything with it or not that's just part of the fun but let me tell you something some of you date dangerously now I'm not really talking about dating I'm talking about something else so listen carefully this is one of the little crazy little parables I come up with. Some of you date dangerously. You see one man or one lady, and I mean, they look good. They are together from head to toe. They're well-groomed. They're poised. They, they look like they have money coming and going. And they know where it's at. I mean, they know what's happening. You know, they know how to keep up with the nightlife and how to be cool and you know okay now here's the trip you date that one and you get your ego stroked and some other things stroked and then that person thinks that you're only seeing them but then you happen to stumble onto someone else and they're looking mighty fine in the summertime. And you want to wine and dine them. So, you tiptoe your little self over. And you start another flirtatious encounter. And it's on and cracking, baby. Right? Mm -hmm. What about the other one? Oh, you can handle. Yeah, you can handle too. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to handle your stuff. But see, here's the trip. One of them might like to play too, and they're okay with you playing. But the other one's serious. They're not playing. It's all or nothing. They've taken a liking to you, and they're taking what you got with them seriously. But in your mind, you're playing. It's a date. Not a commitment. You're not engaged. It's a date. And you have every right in the world to date someone else. Now, don't you? Mm -hmm. But the other person you're dating, they're screwing around and doing everything they're big and bad enough to do. Mm -hmm. But here's the comical part. They're okay with you dating that person. They don't care who you date. But they will be, they will give you hell on wheels if you try to marry somebody. You better not try to commit. Because once they have claimed you as their play toy, don't think you can just walk away like, okay, well, it's been fun. See, you wouldn't want to be here. Uh-uh. Hell, they're like, where you going? <laughs> I don't think so. You better get your little hiney right back up in here. So, 
What I'm saying all that to say is when you get into it, you start finding out there's drama. You go to work. Listen to what I'm saying. You go to work. And the one that likes toying around and, you know, got you as a toy, they'll show up on your job. They will stalk you. They will embarrass you in public. They will put all your business out on the street. But here's the trip. The one that you're dating that really likes you, they're getting hurt because they're suspecting that you're not only seeing them now. And they're really feeling the emotional pain of it. They're feeling betrayed. They're trying not to put pressure on you. They know it's not a commitment, but it hurts. Now, how long do you think that person is going to stick around while you're playing with, with uh, the, you know, the toy maker over here? Mm -hmm. Imagine this person is God. And imagine that person is Satan. Hmm? You imagining? Come on now. Come on. Get those creative juices going. Come on. Chop, chop. Yeah. Think about that. God knows you're not serious. But he's trying to work with you. Now he knows what you're doing because God is all knowing. He's trying to work with you, though, because he loves you and he, he's merciful. He understands those deep-seated needs that never got met when you were a child that makes you feel the need to be flirted with and toyed with and all that crap. So he's really trying to be patient and long-suffering with you. But his word does say, my spirit will not always strive with your mess. I'm putting it in my terms. My spirit will not always strive with you. Now, here you are with the, the boogeyman. You like this one because this one is like, you know, they I mean, they know what's happening and they like to play and they know you like to play and, you know, you're good. You know, they got their others, you got your others, and you got an understanding. So you think. So you think. Right? They come, you, you go, you know, y'all do your thing, and you're dating him too, or you're dating her, whatever form that is. You're dating. You're screwing around. You're fornicating. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're dipping your little pen in the inkwell. Mm. So here you are getting more and more entangled with this enticement over here that's got you lined up as another toy. And you think it's a game. But this game will cost you your life, your soul, eternity. But see, right now it's fun. It's fun. So you play Satan's games and you do it Satan's way and, 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 and you do your little dirt on the sly. But then you go tipping over here and you're looking for mercy because you know this one really loves you. And you don't want to let this one go because this is a good one. This is a good catch. Yeah, this is a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to marry him, but it's, it's a good one. So you, you try to you know smooth oh I'm so sorry you know I, I just I just please be patient with me I'm gonna get this thing together I'm gonna go get uh counseling I'm gonna go get therapy because you know I don't want to lose you why not why not just go all the way see God is a jealous God jealous not mean he's jealous. He will not have any other gods before him. And even though over here is part-time Charlie or part-time Nancy in your book. I'm talking the lifestyle now. I'm not talking about a real person. I'm talking a lifestyle. You live one way over here. And you date and toy and tinkle with that, screw around, fornicate with the sinful world, wor the worldly way of doing things. Your, your, your other life. Yeah. Your little secret life. 
But then over here, this is the good part. This, I mean, you know this one is wholesome. You, you like this. You believe in it. You, you think you love it. You think it really means a lot to you. The things of God, the goodness of God, the love of God, the beauty of God, the mercy of God, the provision of God. Yeah, you get a whole lot of good trinkets with this one. But you don't want to let this go. Because it's fun. You know? I'm trying to understand, baby. Come on now. I don't mean any harm. Does God look like that kind of fool to you? Because there will come a time when the breakup comes. And God will say to you, choose. And when you're still tipping over here in the back in the corner in the dark doing your thing, God will say, I will lift my spirit. I will let you do whatever you want to do. I will no longer strive with you. I will turn you over to a reprobate mind, baby. You won't even miss me. I'm going to let you go. You want that, baby? You got it. I'm done. I'm out of here. I, I plead with you. Don't put yourself in that position. Don't date God and cheat on him while you're dating him. Commit all the way. Present your body. Romans 12, 1. Present your, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and acceptable, perfect will of God. The game is over. It's time out now. It's time for you to choose. Choose you this day whom you will serve. As for me and my house, yeah, I'm going to serve the Lord. Who are you going to serve? Hmm?